George here. Uh, all right. Um, I think you know I've been seeing a lot of information from my sources on the internet. You know, and the typical people I I ref, I, 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 I look at are Charlie Ward, uh, Simon Parks, uh, Monkey Works. Uh, those are the three main ones. I um, also uh, look at other things. Uh, Billy Bean in uh, from YouTube, Truth, Truth and Billy Bean, also gives a good summary. And she follows more people than I don't. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, it's so much information, and you have to just filter what is true and what is not. But I think I'll just give a summary of where I think it is. And if, uh, a picture is beginning to emerge. The first thing is, is that it's becoming clear to me that the um, from the information I'm uh, looking at and that's just digesting and synthesizing that it's I'm more convinced than ever that the Illuminati has already been taken down. It's um, it's uh, in other words the, the 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 main structures of the evil in the world have already been defeated, right? So there's no longer they don't longer have any command and control. A lot of the people that are in, um, you see on television, who think are in power, are not actually in power. They are, they are, they're, they, they're body doubles, or some of them could even be CGI. And um, so, in particular, in the United States, for example, I believe Biden is a is a is a body double, right? And most of the um, senior um, members of government have are also body doubles including ex-presidents as you've seen in fact I think most of the people of, of note in the uh, inauguration ceremony or body doubles <laughs> first except for the military and it's uh, that 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 inauguration was filmed in advance and the video feed for the television stations I think was intercepted at a certain point, without people really knowing it is. Otherwise, it was uh, it was uh, it was like um, uh, security cameras in a in a robbery, and you sort of like to replace the feed, and and, and the same thing happened here. So, in other words, the pre-recorded inauguration was fed into the live television and presented as though it was live. Now, Charlie Ward had received that video many hours in advance, so it was clearly a pre-recorded. A staged event. Now, there are reports coming in about a delay. <clears throat> the reason for the delay being that uh, the, um, the there was a bomb threat. I'm not convinced about that. I think uh, you see. We should, must must remember that um, although the White Hats are in control, they're in the process of deprogramming the population. And and. Not everything they will put out is necessarily what is, right? It's something that is needed to be heard in order to um, deprogram the population. And so uh, everything that this Biden is doing, the, 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 the double Biden, is not actually real. And they're giving clues to that. For example, he's signing executive orders, but they're not appearing in the executive order registry. Right, and even his photograph as uh, in the, in the White House webpage, where he's uh, shown as a former president, which is like a joke, or I don't know, maybe the, and that's a typo. <laughs> and his picture is kind of odd as well. And <coughs> so I'm not really convinced. Uh, there, I think what's happened is that the reason is that the, the the reason for the delay is is that they want to time the disclosure to a point when uh, the people are conditioned to accept the truth without encountering much trauma. So in other words, the red pilling has got to be given in small doses. And just as like uh, some of you who are watching this, like me, have been woken up, others need to be woken up too in their own day, in their own timing. And so this could go on for some time. Hopefully not too long. Uh, because, you know, there are problems that we need to solve as, as, um, in the world. And we need, you know, the, uh, we can hardly wait, uh, um, uh, especially with this um, uh, pa pandemic that's going on, uh, uh, which I think is a real uh, pandemic, but it's not as frightening as probably the mass media wants you to believe, because fear, of course, is a way of exercising control, isn't it?
it's real and it's something that you can do but I think maintaining a healthy immune system and being uh, eating well resting well uh, living a healthy life is more important uh, than uh, you know uh, living in fear and depending on vaccinations and masks you know Although in uh, I'm gonna I'm just digressing, okay. But in the Philippines, I do wear a mask, but not because I feel that it's protecting me, but because I feel I just want to uh, be socially acceptable. You know, yeah, it's, it's it's a tradition here. There's no point to upset other people who are f frightened, right? Uh, but you just fall in. So it's not it's not that big a deal for me. For some people, it's a political statement whether they wear a mask or not. It's uh, no, no, no big deal. Don't, don't make an issue. Right. The main thing is not to be afraid. Right. That's the, that's the main thing, and to live healthy lives. Okay. So everything is going well, but we don't know the plan. We don't know the timing. Now I've received reports, for example, um, that uh, this mon guy Monkey Works tracks aircraft, and um, he uh, tracked. Um, a particular he can he can follow the location of the president by um, discovering no fly zones over particular spots okay and so what he did is he he was able to trace the president uh, when after during the inauguration he flew to Florida in Mar-a-Lago in Florida but that same night uh, he actually flew back to DC and uh, then flew to uh, Charleston Air Force Base in in North Carolina I think or South Carolina there's a Charleston Air Force, Air Force Base somewhere there. And the, since then, it just disappeared. Uh, the, 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 so the, um, because there is no, um, no fly zone indicated for, uh, you know, President Trump should, for President Trump, um, see, all ex-presidents have a no fly zone over their place, you see. But and, and President Trump's disappeared. So that means that he has left the country into a safe, secure location outside of the continental United States. That's an indication that there's something going down and that it will be dangerous for the president to be in the United States and that it's for his safety. What is happening, I suspect, is that in the midst of this um, movie that we're being shown in mass media of uh, Biden's initial days of his pre presidency, What's happening is I think arrests are being made uh, of the people who were caught in the sting operation uh, after because see this this last election in the United States was a sting operation to get all of the people generally these are going to be the middle level people and the, and the low level captains you know uh, you know uh, who are participating in the sting of course all the senior leaders have already been doubled <laughs> they were taken out some time ago and I arrested or and some of them have been executed already, either in Guantanamo Bay or in Greenland or there's a certain I think it's a place in Iceland and loads, loads of loads of places. And I think a lot of people are being arrested. Um, uh, numbers like to the order of like half a million people be arrested. Uh, apparently, the, the corruption in the United States has gone has gone that far. And I suspect all over the world, uh, as uh, it'll be done in the United States first, uh, but eventually it'll go happen all over the world. And uh, well. A lot of corrupt people are going to be taken down. Makes me wonder what's going to, who are going to be taken down in my country. And I, you know, like I said in the previous video, I suspected, but our own president was already doubled. Um, so, I, and there's lots of corruption in the Philippines. I don't know if there's any jail big enough to hold them all. So, but anyway, so that, but the fact that these things are happening means that things are moving, and just may not be seeing. If you look, if you're watching television. It will be very depressing for you because they are showing you the rather disastrous Biden presidency. <laughs> you need to follow. You need to identify people you can trust, and that not necessarily be me. You can, you can tr you, you find someone. Uh, find someone who maybe ha that you have in intuitively they believe that they they're on the right track, right? Uh, you can't try, and it's difficult to give you objective information, unfortunately. And uh, one of my viewers have recommended I should show percent objective information. I don't really have objective information. I listen to things, I, I'm open minded, and I, I form patterns and synthesize information in my mind. And if it all fits in into this, what, what, I, what I've been observing from others, and it, it, 
it, it just clicks. And there's a bit of faith involved and there's a bit of intuition involved here. Uh, the best thing I can recommend to you is actually that you pray to God to please guide you to the truth. That's a prayer that's always answered and I think that's what I what I, what, what I've asked. So please, that's the main thing, right? Don't be afraid. Always make sure that you are close to God and you ask God to guide you and God will guide you to the people that you need to know about uh, or hear in order to get what's going on uh, in, in for reality but you're not going to get it on the, from the television the television is uh, the, the good that the fact that the television is playing a movie that's designed by the um, the good guys means that that mass media has already been taken down it's about time and unfortunately the weapons of the deep state are not being used against them you know the operation mockingbird of uh, psyoping the population in order to uh, program us is now being used to deprogram us and all of those uh, FEMA camps we're going to use to imprison uh, those that didn't fit into the new narrative of the new world order are now going to be used to imprison the corrupt uh, people of the deep state so um, their own weapons and plans are being turned against them it's like in the bible that saying you know you're gonna dig a hole that you will yourself be buried in something like that okay so this is positive uh, timing i don't know you see how fast can people be deprogrammed of course there'll be a tipping point you don't have to wait for everyone to be deprogrammed but you need to have sufficient people who be deprogrammed that there will be no social uh, instability unrest and um, mass psychological trauma at what is going to be discovered and uh, I can't I just I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to tell you what kind of evil has been going on in the deep state because some of you may not know and it's horrible if, if you imagine anything horrible it's much much worse than that unfortunately and he best yeah uh, best to pray to God really and have him lead you to that he will he knows what you can take okay so don't worry there, there's some I'm hoping that maybe we would know by this week but you know I'm anything can happen I and it may get uh, it, may, it may get exciting but don't worry don't worry right it will be uh, it might be that the Biden presidency may need to uh, they be demonstrated to be quite awful and there might be things that will happen that uh, would not be pleasant on television but don't worry because it's not really that it's not really real and it's just their deprogram people and when they realize that uh, the road that they were programmed to take is not really going to work they will actually wake up in their own time and in their own way I hope sooner let's pray that it happens sooner I can hardly, I'm so impatient because what follows would be wonderful. We'll be on a gold standard. A lot of taxes that we would be taxed before, like income tax, will go because we will be on this new economic system, which is uh, Nisara for the national, that's the United States, and Jisara for the world. And I can hardly wait, especially in a country like the Philippines, which needs to, you know, our, 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 we need to increase our standard of living. And it's going to be great because the, our money will have value, inflation will go down, and for savers, I suspect interest rates will go up, because um, if you're saving, you need to. Uh, there will be less uh, ability to um, just print money, and so money will be a scarce commodity because money will be gold, and so um, uh, having a reserves of money uh, will be valuable. And so, the, the, in other words, the cost of money or interest will, will go up. So that'll be good for those who have, who have say who are savers. At the moment, savers are penalized. We have negative interest rates. But now, at least we will have positive interest rates. It'll be good for us, especially for those of us who are dependent on that kind of, you know, uh, savings for our retirement. It's good to have some interest income for a change. Okay? Hang in there. Full the line. It it it's uh, don't be taken in. Remember the the what in the mass media is being uh, is is now um, 
basically uh, taken over by uh, the good guys and is deprogramming the masses. And but for those of you who have been wake, woken up already, don't be taken in by what you see on television. Right? You should know better than that. Follow sources that you trust. Pray to God to lead you to those sources. Okay? This is just an update to encourage you. Hang in there. God wins. Don't you have faith? Okay. <laughs> Bye, George. Signing off. Till next time. Bye.